Alright, what I've done, I've painted in, just so you didn't have to watch me dry it, because I had to dry it straight away. I've painted in a very light blue sky. So I just got my brush and just went, sh, sh, that right, done. I thought, just for the sake of that, I may as well do it and dry it. So I've done that, and then, I think you'll agree with me, I've drawn a little pencil line a vertical one across there like that. I think you'll agree that looks really really nice. Right, uh, so now I'm going to try and paint a picture what's got some depth and some three-dimensional looking thing. So I've got some uh, bright colours now, some, I'm going to use some really bright greens and there's a lot of council pop in this so it's really light paint and that's because I want it to look like it's a long way away so these are just my brushes and that so a bit of that in and a bit of that in so I'm just plopping in some colours now there's some Bushes and stuff in here. They seem to go right up here. Get bigger up this side for some reason. There we are. I'll keep that line at the bottom. Right, this comes across here. There's quite a few of these. Try that, leave it at that for now. Right, so let's get in there uh, some. Some slightly darker greens in, I think. It's quite a long way away, so we don't want to go too mad. Just some of that. Let's get some darker greens in there. I could come in, soften a few bits off where it's needed. Ah, looks alright to me. Sitting back and having a look. This bit here would probably be a bit darker on that side. There we are. I'd say something about like that. Maybe it's a bit darker on that bottom bit. A tiny bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, that coffee's good. This is looking pretty good, I think. Getting it an effective sort of look. So it's having this dark shadow side to it, making it look like sun's coming in this way. And that's what we want. Right. I'll just soften some bits back in, especially there, that bit. Curling it all up that way, like something like that with my brush. That's giving me the impression that sun's coming in there. You can leave some slight hard edges in, some soft edges. 
I'll see you one. Well, so that's that. I might give that a little dry actually. and stuff. See what this looks like. You've got to whisper when you're doing this. You've got to concentrate. There we are. Then I'm going to put a bit of green in. Oh, wow. Uh, So this, I don't know why I'm whispering, this is even further back this is. So I'm sort of altering me, it's a really, really thin paint. Well, I think you can see that anyway. And there we are. And what I can do, if it's a bit too thin, I can put some extra in. Or if you put it in too fat, be a nightmare trying to get it out. Oh, something like that, it's not looking bad. So there, dee 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 dee, into there. Uh, this, this bit up here is actually going to be covered up. Well, I'll put some in anyway. For a bit in. And there we are. So that's that. Um, I think I'm going to go with some of this dark blue and just come in and just add some stuff into this bottom bit again. Oops, sorry. Just to sort of. Well, I've, just, I've got water on my brush now and I'm just softening it again. There they go. Yeah, I must have some little bits in here. It's looking a bit sort of like one big. Lock in there. Some more green. Some blues. A little bit more green. Oops, splashing paint all up more. A bit more green in there. Something like that. Right, I think that it's probably going to do it. Let me get a bit of dryer on it. This is just water. Yeah. I'm going to come into here like this. And then what I'm doing at the top, I want this really, really pale green. So I'm just sticking the water in so it all fades in and looks really light and pale in there. Yeah. It's giving me a really light green. It. And then I think oh, let's come down with it. Into mm -hmm. yellow in there. Mm -hmm. More yellow in there. Bum 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 bum. Did 
ti ti I'll just come right down through the old paper with it. Yeah. And that's the way. Right down through a oh, lot. So that's a pretty watery paint there is. There we are, looks nice. Right, get that dry. way to do now. Got some. Get my brush dry, I think's my best way to do this. Try and bash the end up. Is that gonna work? No, I don't think it is. The end's not bashing up. Well again it will. Right, I'll show you what to do. Show you how to do this with my eye brush. So just squeezing all paint out my brush now. Right, I've got the paint all on my hands, look. That's my brush, there. I'm drying it on my tea towel. And I've bashed the end up like that. Right, now, dip into the paint. Let's put brush in. So there's a brush. There we are, we're coming in there like that. There we are. It looks like in the bottom of this bush there's some long grass that's coming up. So I'll show you how to put them in and all in a minute. That's that. Right, now what I'm going to do, mix another colour up. This one, I squeeze my brush out again, paint all on my hands, wipe it off my hands again, bash the end up again on my tea towel, just like that. Dip back in the paint, come back in one. See that? Perfect little bush. Same again, darker paint, and darker now. So now I'm just getting a really, really dark paint. Bashing all end of my brush up. is all bashed up on the end look can you see it yeah and then just like that and then I think what I'm gonna do is come in with some really 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 dark right if you watched yesterday's painting you'll know that uh, Doofus has swallowed a marble right 
messing about, showing off. He's winning at marbles, thinks he's brilliant, thinks he's dead clever. Messing about, he's gone and swallowed one. Well, the doofus. Doofus is regular as clockwork, right? For his number twos. Every morning, Doofus gets up. Oh, let me just let's get some of these grasses in here. Got to get these in. So they come in across there. Now, if I just get some of this, just pull this down here to get, and I'm going to make this look like. Um, Grass is coming up in front of this one, so I'll do that with Walter Maria. So this is called negative painting. Because I'm sort of painting the grasses in coming up that way, but I'm painting them in by bringing me stuff down this way. No one on the mountain. I think I'll come a bit more lighter green on over this side. Anyway, that looks like that grass is coming in on top of there. I think should do anyway. Maybe I can do a bit more of that sort of thing. Like that. Blades coming in now. Uh, uh, well, hopefully that's give that fact that there's some grass coming in down there, and then I scratch some in as well to do the same sort of thing. Right, that's that. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. Now we're just on one more. Hmm. Yeah, doofus. He's as regular as clockwork. Every day at eight o'clock, dead on. Doofus as a number two. Right. Yeah. I won't mind, but he don't wake up till nine. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. He don't. He don't do that. Right. Right. Um, there we are. Getting some bits in there. I'm joking, he don't really do that. No, but anyway, he's only gone and cracked bowl, hasn't he? A cracked toilet bowl. So, um, his dad said he's got to pay for it out of his pocket money. But it sort of backfired on me as well, because um, his dad said he don't know why he's giving us pocket money anyway. He's saying we're, we're in his 40s, it's time we got out and got a son a job and earned his own money so it sort of backfired on me but I've been for some job interviews and that just um, I haven't got one yet so now Doofus has either got to get a job to pay for a toilet bowl that is cracked or he's got to um, pay out his pocket money well it'll take him ages to pay out his pocket money I'm just going to pin this back so, I'm feeling a bit sorry for Doofus, really. I don't know what he's going to do. Right, let me have a look in here. There's like a, a bush on this one, and I don't normally do this. I'm going to do it today. Now, there's a bush on this one here, and it's like got these massive, as I say, it's about. I think it's about here. It's got these massive leaves on like that, so I'm just going to put them in with this brush. Something like that, and then there's some more about here. There's a couple more of them. I'm not sure what kind of bush it is or out, but that'll do. That's as much detail as I need. And then, uh, sort of, right, let's lighten this colour up a bit. Turn a bit of yellow there. Yeah, sort of. into some grasses and stuff in here and that sort of 
Yes, I'll take one. Well, that's some longer grasses about there. More sort of just grasses in here. Oh, yeah, they did this one next there. Darker bits. Oh. And then in there, there is in here, there is something to. Dark bits. Go back to this again. Just gonna pop in some more of these sort of shapes with this one. Make it sort of blend in a bit. Something like that and in there. And in there. And then they sort of come down darkish as they come down here. And down here they sort of coming in darker. And then some nice big blades of grass cutting up through it like that. Ah, oh, see, that looks nice. Then I think I'll get me a rigger brush. And I think we're all done. Pop in some more blades of grass like that. Some lighter colours, some lighter ones like that. Look, <laughs> poor old doofus, he's gonna have no money for a very long time. What a stupid boy! Poor old doofus, I do feel sorry for him. I'm not taking Mickey, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be very good for do for the next few weeks with no pocket money yeah but it's backfired on me really because doofus's dad's now saying that we've both got to go and get jobs not just doofus i mean and we do want jobs doofus's doofus's dad's telling him oh look grow up you're an idiot you, you're not going to be an astronaut right but I'm saying to Doofus, look, don't let go of your dreams. He's always dreamed of being an astronaut. So I'm thinking, don't discourage him. Never let go of your dreams. Always keep trying to aspire to whatever you've wanted to be. Don't let people like your stepdads and that. Oh, it's Doofus's real dad. It's my stepdad. Don't let them put you off your dreams. Always stick to your dreams. That's what I think. Dreams can come true if you stick to them. So, but when Doofus looks online for a job, there never ever seems to be any there for astronauts. But one day, they're bound to be looking for one at some time. And when they do, as long as Doofus don't let go of his dreams, he'll be able to apply for it. But Doofus's dad don't see it that way. I've said this to Doofus's dad. Doofus's dad just keeps saying, don't talk like a prat. He reckons you need special qualifications and stuff, but I think he's just being negative about everything. If you want to be an astronaut, you can be an astronaut. I think I won't mind being an ice cream man. That's what I fancy doing. But <coughs> my stepdad, Doofus's dad, is being all negative about that, saying, well, go out and get a van then. But I can't, not unless he puts my pocket money up. Because if he don't put my pocket money up, then I can't afford a van, can I? So it's sort of 
doofus's dad's fault or he's saying I've got to take responsibility for my own life and he's saying if you want to be an ice cream man go and get a job in a factory or something and then save up to be an ice cream to buy an ice cream van to be an ice cream man but I don't know I think that's going to take a long time doing that I want to be one straight away I'm just putting grasses in here but yeah poor old doofus has cracked the bowl he's going to have no money for ages These are all my little grasses. I suppose I could dip that in a bit of water and gradually thin it, perhaps, as I come across here. A bit more water. It's thinning out a bit. Gets like a bit shorter in this bit here. Dry that. Right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm squeeze that brush out, wash my brush, get some red bright colours in here now. I think I'm going to just come in and just brighten it all up with a bit of yellow. Just like that, coming into there. There we are. That's nice, isn't it? Just warmed it all up a bit. Get this and just scratch in a few grasses. I just have to re wet my paper a bit to get some of these grasses in. Yeah. Scratch in a few grasses up there like that. Sit. Oh man. I think across here. Just popping a few bits there and all, just a few bits. Yeah, I'll start to wet it out. That's it, that's just that field. What's that looking? Let me sit back across the room. Okay. Right, get that dry. If I can mix an orange colour up. Nice orange colour. It's just got a creamy colour, but that'll do, I think. Right. Tell you what, let's have a red colour. Going for a red colour, right? So. red colour and then some white trousers on let's give them some back here that's the dog 
Right. Shall I get my tiny little brush? Where is it, this tiny little brush? I'll just put in there. A walking stick. Oh, cool, that's worth cool. Let's put Peter and Paul in. They're out looking for worms. That's Peter. That's Paul. They're out looking for a few worms. Right, now. What I need now is some shadows. So I think I'll just use a dark green for my shadows. So I'm going to have a little bit of shadow there. Going across there like that, the shadows. There we are, that's them too. Now, I need some shadows where it's going to be a bit darker coming across here because it's coming off this hill here, look. So, get some green, mix up a really dull green, bit of green, bont umber and that. Just get it a really dark green. So, if you get some green out of your palette, slap a bit of bont umber and stuff in it. Right, so these are my shadows. So, that's coming across there, like that. These are my shadows. And then there's a big shadow coming across there, probably from a big tree, what's off the page there. Coming all the way across, and then here, the same again. There's another big shadow. What's coming all the way into there? Oh, I'm scratch a few more grasses in on this side. Scratch some grasses in any way you want, really. Always look good. Awesome. Oh, grasses in. Get uh, my little signing one. Put my little initials in. Bye. Bye. Birdie day. There we are. Sorted. When you're painting, try to keep these things simple like me. I try and keep mine simple, so do like me. Try and keep these things simple like me. And uh, you'll not go far wrong. So if you enjoyed this half as much as I have, then I'll have enjoyed it twice as much as you. Have I said that right? Uh, I think that's right. See you on the beach. Yeah.